Hello everybody, this is Budrich. Let's write some more wallpaper manager things. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, we are very close to, to add all functionality we need here to our uh, polybar module thing, which we haven't started building yet because I want to add the stuff to BWP to be able to control it with polybar. I know it's a bit confusing, but whatever. Uh, we have two features left to add here. One is this pencil here to rename the wallpaper and the other is to, to set the blur of the wallpapers. And setting the blurs, you know, we store all the wallpapers in, in blurred versions here in, in the blurs directory. Um, so let, let, let's start with that. And I think we have uh, blurs here. We have it in, in the documentation and we also have it have the option set here in get top. So we are, we are already listening for it. And um, setting the blur, that is almost the same as setting the wallpaper here. And I think it's fine to do it here actually, um, to test if either uh, or both. W or V or W then is, is set on the command line. We set the wall. Uh, also, let's do this. Close others. Close, close. Um, and then in set wall here, we test again if, if uh, the B option is present and then then uh, we, we adjust the target here because now we, we prefix uh, the name with the WD which is the walls directory this directory but if, if the B option is set then we prefix it with, with the blurs directory so it's um, not more difficult than that but I actually like this because here we test if, if we have a name at all and also if, if the file exists in the walls directory. I think we should test that even if it's the blurred version we set and then we can change this here instead. So O B equals to 1 uh, then we change target to this um, now I think we can blur this uh, the cur if we blur the current wallpaper it works and we can change it back with W we can uh, take a random wallpaper we can take a random wallpaper with blur now it's uh, by chance just took the same there but as you can see it works and it also works by going previous and next if you want to do that for some reason um, and it also works here with both W and B but then it will blur anyway because that's kind of what we want um, but I would also like it to be because now we can do this W to unblur and B to blur the current oops uh, but I would like it to be that uh, so that we can toggle the blur with just a B. If the current wallpaper is blurred, then we unblur it, so to speak. So I would like to add some more logic to this, and I think it's uh, uh, we, we we should actually add it to its own function. Let's call it get blur. We pass name. Then we can actually cut this. I think we will need it here. So here we re reassign a uh, target here, uh, the output of get blur. We create that function, get blur.sh, shebang, get blur, local, name, bdir, name is equal to so dollar one and b dir is equal to this. The blur star it creates the same as w dir, but this is not a global. We will only need it here in this function. Um, so um, 
yeah, the simplest version of this would, would be, of course, the same thing here. Echo, B, dear, and name. And now this should also work normal, set it blurred, doesn't work. Ah, no. No loadable image, get blur, waiver. Ah, I know what it is. I forgot to save it, I think that was... No. And uh, then we must have forgot the dollar here, you see. There. Let's do some randoms. And now blur this, it works. Get blur. But we wanted to toggle the blur if it, the current wall is blurred and name is the same as kernam. And this can be written like uh, this if because uh, we have this variable in BWP here, a global variable called curpf, which points to the current wall. So it's um, there. We can see that this is located in the blurs directory, and if we would set it. Uh, Okay, yeah, I'm in the middle of writing the script, that's why it didn't work here. Um, okay, okay, okay. Curve path. It, it contains the full full path to, to the... This is why it broke here, because it... Syntax error. But if curve path is equal to uh, bdir slash name, that means that the name is also the name of the current wallpaper and the current wallpaper is blurred. Then echo wdir name else echo bdir name. So now I think it will work here. Toggle the current wallpaper is blur. And you can see now we can toggle it. Great, and that works here as well now. I can toggle with my polybar module because it calls this BWP B. Um, of course, uh, we could also here test if the blur exists, if it doesn't generate it again, if that for some reason would happen. But I don't know, let's wait with that, uh, or maybe I will add it in, in my finished version uh, someday, but we don't have to do it here. But you know, it, it is basically... Um, uh, this is uh, the command that blurs, we could move this to a function, call that function here when we add the library, but also test if it exists and call it. Well, now when I say it, why not just do it? Uh, generate um, yeah Let's it like this. generate blur trg or src trg and then this Second argument there. Generate blur dot sh shebang. Generate blur there. SRC TRG SRC is equal to dollar one TRG is equal to dollar two change this to SRC change this to TRG save um, and then we also do this in in our get blur here 
We don't need to test for the blur here because now we kind of know that it exists and we also set the, the normal wall but here we, we can file this doesn't exist or generate blur source is this and target is this So this will generate the blur if it doesn't exist. Then let's uh, let's test it now. We should just toggle this. It do exist, but uh, let's remove one of these waiver bwp dash w waiver sets it to this. Toggle the blur here now. It will take a little bit longer because it needs to generate it first, but then we know that it will always generate them and, and, and do that for us. Great! But if it already exists, it is much faster. Okay, okay, part one. Part two, renaming things. This is a little bit more complicated, but not that much, because I thought let's, let's uh, do a, a, a new thing with this script. First we add this renaming uh, thing here to this list here. I like to use X uh, for rename. That has become like my go-to renaming short option. New name wallpaper. None of these inside brackets, or actually this is in brackets because it could be the if it is if we don't specify the wallpaper, then it takes the, the current wall. Then we add x here to our getOps list, but this time I actually would like to, to make this option uh, require an argument, uh, otherwise it will fail here. Uh, but this means uh, that we cannot just store one here, we want to store the argument of x in ox here. And you can write that with uh, by using the opt arg variable which is available for us here in getops it will automatically set set the option to any arguments that takes options but x is the only argument that does this here because it have a colon after it maybe it's more obvious what's going on if i add the x to this location then we can say oh it's a colon here so x needs an argument uh, and an optarg will be empty for all other options here except x uh, so, so that means we can set a default to 1 here and we don't need to add change our script in any way uh, all other options will be set to, to 1 in our O array here hope you followed what was going on there um, now we have rename option now we also test for the rename option here this is one of those O X um, yeah and here we don't cannot do an arithmetic test because uh, O X contains a string so we need to do something like this and then we also need to put these guys around it then rename wall um, so the first argument to rename wall which is a function we haven't yet created but we will uh, we passed uh, the content of ox here which will be an argument and also the wall which we want to to, to um, rename and then we can create our rename wall file here create a shebang rename wall uh, local new name and trg or something 
new name is equal to dollar one and TRG is equal to dollar two. Um, and then just like in delete, you know, we, we use this uh, pattern here to, to choose all files with this name in, in uh, DIR here. I think maybe there is a smarter way to do this, but we can use this uh, globbing thing here uh, in the rename wall as well. But instead, let's loop this 4f in this do, and then we just move. Um, let's use a force. F. We could even use a prompt here and stuff. Yeah, why, why not now when, when we have that nice thing, you know? So we move F here, which will be the full path to, to one file. Um, but renamed. So F, but we trim uh, the file name. Uh, and add our new name. This. We also want to uh, change the name in the history file if, if there is an entry. So said in place uh, pattern history file. And we want to substitute, or let's put it in double quotes so we can use variables here. We want to substitute um, TRG. like braces here to make it more clear that it is a bash variable here and we want to substitute it with our new name in place history maybe we need to test if the history file exists here I'm not sure but let's do that If the history file exists, replace it like this. Uh, now there is a broken quote somewhere there. Uh, and we also need to, to if, if uh, we rename the current wall, we need to create a new symlink. Uh, and that uh, will be this path, you know. So or first we test if, um, TRG is equal to Kernam. I don't know why I wrote it like that. I don't like it like that. Like this. Uh, LNFS to BWP dir slash current wall. Uh, I guess we don't this like this okay now I think we got a rename function here let's try it bwp dash x uh, and let's rename the current wall to ha <laughs> Looks like nothing happened, 35 milliseconds, but if we look into the blurs directory, we can see we have a ha ha ha, we don't have the waiver anymore. And it's also true here. And if you want to rename a, a specific wallpaper, uh, buh, 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 we want to rename Lagunan, this one, this should work. And that worked. But the thing is, we can also <laughs> rename a random wall if we want here, and I don't know if we really want to have that uh, ability here. No, not a valid or yeah, yeah. This is great. Now, now we got an error here for because get dots uh, got weirded out here because we have an argument or x doesn't have an argument here. The argument. Um, when, when you write the options like this so when you have an option that needs an argument it needs to be the last in the option list like this I think this will work now it will take a random wallpaper and rename it z z z z z 
And it did, it renamed the pineapples. You can also quickly see if the history worked. Then you can see it, it renamed in the history. But uh, I really don't like this to be able to rename uh, random wallpapers. So we could just add that. Uh, I think we have some test here. If the delete option is set, we could add the, um, if delete or, ah, but here it gets a bit weird now since uh, uh, X will not, we, we cannot use our normal uh, fast way to write this. We have to, to do a little bit something ugly here, but whatever. If, uh, oh, X or the D option is set and one of these are set print error message. So now we should get that error if we try to do it here. No, when deleting or renaming. Maybe we should even do an ERH here to print the help screen because obviously the user doesn't know how to use the program. And then you can say, oh, okay, X no random here. Okay, good. Great. Um, yeah. And now uh, the pencil here should work as well. If I press that, now it prints the name here of the current wallpaper. Ha 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 ha. Or enter something else else it renamed it else so everything works now all we have to do is create this polybar module that doesn't exist it this is only in your imagination um but there's one last thing that i would like to fix and it's it's very quick because right now our bwp script is is kind of great actually it, it doesn't have any dependencies really Sure, it needs a, a, a program to set the wallpaper, but you can just change that easily here uh, to, to your preferred uh, wallpaper setter in this BWP command. Uh, and sure, it uses, and of course, image magic is, is a hard dependency that we have. But then it also tests for parallel. It isn't really a dependency if it doesn't exist. It uses exargs. But then we have this sneaky little uh, dependency that is actually a very a double hard dependency in a way. Because it needs i3list, which is a kind of weird program. It's only available in AUR uh, or uh, from GitHub because I have written it. Uh, and it also, this in turn needs i3 to, to be active to be to be, be able to to work so it's not a good way and all it does is that it uh, will print the dimension string or, or it will get, give us the dimension string that looks something like this or it looks exactly like this in this case and store that uh, and echo that thing out and there is a better way to do this and also i3 list is it's not slow, but it's not fast either. It's 54 milliseconds here. Um, a more uh, portable solution that will work on any window manager or desktop environment or whatever uh, is uh, to use XRender, which is uh, often already installed, you know. It, it, it's used to, to manage different monitors. It's a very common program. And here we can see all available resolutions for this VGA1 connected uh, monitor that I have here. And we can also see my built-in laptop monitor here. Um, and you can see which the active workspace or the active monitor is with this star. So that star or asterisk is actually only... Uh, that's the only place where that is printed. So we can actually grep for that and we get the resolution like this. Could even, to get it immediately, we don't need to do any uh, extra variables or anything. We can use awk uh, to search for, for, a, for an asterisk um, and print the first uh, um, column. 
and then we can even exit out of walk here to, to maybe save us even more time yeah 35 milliseconds 40 milliseconds it's it, it's really weird sometimes we get this uh, sub 10 execution time here i guess it stores it in memory somehow I, I don't know exactly how it works also not sure if maybe this could be written like this doesn't really make a difference i actually like the character class version a little bit more but let's use this here instead and that can replace all these now we don't need i3 list we don't need to create this uh, uh, array and this array also you know i3 list it, it prints a, a long list which which will be converted into a, a a big array here in in our bwp script that's also completely bloat since we only need two of these uh, uh, keys here so this is better and now we are ready to write the polybar module thing I don't know if I have it here don't even remember what I named it but uh, we start with that in the next uh, video so I need now to, to finish my polyfy uh, script that I used to create this I think uh, before I, I uh, start recording those videos but it will be easy peasy we can actually do this without that script with pure polybar yeah maybe we do that whatever we see in the next video but we, we, we start creating this polybar thing it's not uh, as complicated as you might think no matter how we do it thank you for watching everybody have a great day uh, bye